Ladies and gentlemen, this event one fall with a 15-minute time limit. From England, Manchester, England, at 235 pounds, the man of a thousand holes, Les Thornton. Les Thornton. His opponent, from San Benito, Texas, at 228 pounds, here's Aldo Marino. Marino. Mountain of a job in trying to out-wrestle this individual who is the master of so many holds and Les Thornton held so many titles just unbelievable too numerous to mention but I'm sure wrestling fans are all familiar with the attributes and the achievements of Les Thornton out of Manchester England and Aldo a lot of credit goes to him for putting his name on the dotted line step into the ring with this gentleman side headlock now as Aldo has control Olympian Ken Patera will be coming up shortly this week on Georgia Championship along with Mr. Wonderful the big mountain Bundy is going to join us let's not forget for one moment a special guest appearance of Mr. T and the World Wrestling Federation heavyweight champion, Hulk Hogan. What a dynamic duel. The real dynamic duel. Hulk Hogan and Mr. T are going to be coming our way very shortly. Nice takeover there by Aldo. Boy, they certainly will have a whole lot to say about what's going down in the world of professional wrestling. And what's coming up and I'm sure what's on the minds of everyone in the world of professional wrestling and outside of the world of professional wrestling. A happening is going to happen, folks. Try to be a part of it. Nice move there, but Aldo very quick out of that corner. Side mare takes him over. I think uh, Les Thornton was surprised a little bit there by, Russ, uh, by Aldo Marino. He got caught in that corner. Went right in there at 40 miles an hour and nobody home. Referee in the ring. Top of the situation. Of course, with these two speedsters, you best keep your distance or you'll be run over like a Mack truck. Aldo still in control with the hold. But Les Thornton with the leverage now trying to get out and he sneaks underneath and Aldo still in control with that side headlock. That's down on the canvas. This man has at least five different ways he can get out of this that he knows of. Nice side suplex takes him right over, but Aldo bulldogging it and holding right on. Well, that's a smart thing to do. Don't let Thornton get the upper hand because it'll be goodbye in a hurry. Referee checking for a choke. There's no choke. He trapped the leg there. Knows how Thornton trapped the leg. Going to keep Aldo from turning in. Now he turns it loose. Thornton literally put himself on his back. He knows he's in no danger. This is not a pinning combination. I don't believe in some 25 years of professional wrestling I've ever seen anyone pinned he's using a side headlock. Although anything and everything is possible with these extraordinary athletes. Superstars that literally fly around that ring. Aldo off now. Oh, nice leapfrog over the top. Drop kick. Caught him right in the sternum. Sends Les Thornton over the top rope to the concrete arena floor. And Thornton is upset. Looks like he's going to get suplexed back in. Yes. Marino is showing us a lot here this week on Georgia Championship as he is in control of this match. Another suplex takes the youngster down, but still had the presence of mind to hold on to that side headlock. Great matchup this one is, and some great ones yet to come. As for two hours, we're going to supply you with this excitement. Still hanging on to that side headlock. Once again, Thornton put himself on his back. Just another maneuver to get 
Your body leverage outward will do you the most good. Windham and Rotundo, what an interesting interview with those two youngsters who have carved a name for themselves forever in the history books of professional wrestling. Back suplex made him turn the hole loose for a second, but Aldo Marino slapped it right back on again. Now well, he's out now. See how long he can stay out. Wow. Forearm and a beauty. Les Thornton, uh, somebody rattled his cage in a hurry, and I'm sure it was Aldo Marino. As he's come back and taken control of this match. Double arm back hook. Suplex takes him over. Down for the count. Two only. Marino came out the back door. Back into the ropes now. Marino. Wow, he went to throw off the youngster, but he held on to that side headlock once more. And guess what? Let's punch him down on the canvas. Falling prey to that side headlock ever since the onset of this match. It's been a big problem for Les, and it shouldn't be because the ring veteran that he is. Oh, nice maneuver there as he came right out from underneath and right up with that hammerlock. Incidentally, so fans, later on, we're going to give you some reservation numbers if you want to become a part of this, part of Georgia Championship Wrestling, and be here live to see it. Get a pencil and paper, because later on, uh, we're going to give you a phone number to call. Les now in control as he's chicken wing now. The left arm and came across face. Another painful hole, especially when you get those hands locked. So he's taking your body from the left side and ramming it across. And at the same time, he's cross facing you from the front and not allowing you to turn. That's where the unbelievable pain comes from. Now he's just punishing this youngster. As he's turned loose at the cross face, reaches now for a reverse half Nelson. Look at the leverage here as he slowly edges him over. Wow, shot to the sternum there. He's just punishing me in this youngster now, making him pay for what was a great side headlock series used by Aldo Marino. And now he's going to make him suffer. Marino sneaks out the back door, comes up with an arm bar that doesn't have a great deal of leverage at this point. In fact, it's anybody's control at this moment. And right back to that side headlock. Nice leg trip and up over the top. Look at the moves on love, love, of Les Thornton. Man of a thousand holes and rightly named because this guy can do them all. Look at how he's controlling this youngster. Ties him up now with a toe, double toe hold. Applying the pressure with the forearm. He could just as easily slip up there with the knee and apply the pressure in that manner. In fact, you get a whole lot more power from the knee as it comes up in that direction. The legs are so much stronger than the arms. Les Thornton with beautiful forearm. Boy, he's mastered that over the years. Aldo down on the canvas. Three forearms in a row. Down for the count. He won't get him here. Nice bridge! Aldo Marino coming up with a beautiful bridge, but he's... Can he get over the top? Yes, he does! Marino off the rope. Shoulder block. Sends Thornton down. Marino once again, high cross body. No, he didn't get it. Too strong for him. Oh, reverse over the top suplex. Goodbye. That's all she won. Well, the youngster went to the well one too many times. Referee raising his hand now and crowd getting on Thornton's case. Let's go back to the replay and see just what happened. Look at this. He went for that high cross body. Didn't quite get high enough and got a suplex for his troubles. Knocked the wind out of him. Over on top was Les Thornton. And believe me, folks, when he does that kind of a move on you, that's all she wrote. Thornton very happy with himself now. As he goes over to the corner, referee there to...